Today, we are going to treat the stubborn constipation in a holistic way. Sure, anyone can force a bowel movement with a handful of pills or enemas. What's the big deal? There have been times in the hospital where desperate patient needed drastic measures and I have had to manually remove severe stool blockages from patients. What we are going to talk about now is a game changer though. We will discuss how to heal constipation in a way which not only helps you heal your gut, improve and in some cases even eliminate the root causes of gut problems while simultaneously nurturing your whole body. And we will cover not just one, but 20 tips for healthy bowel and body. In 20 points, we will discuss a so-called superfood, if you want to call any food a superfood, which is so much better, safer and healthier for your gut and body than common laxative prescriptions and over-the-counter ones. We will also include a simple convenient tablet which not only makes your stool soft and effortless but also have been shown to reduce the occurrence of osteoporosis and even dementia by more than 50%. And in the end, I will reveal my own routine each morning I follow. So there is a lot to unpack here. So let's get going. Yes, we are talking about the poop retention epidemic, which happens more often in women. Why? Because female body have longer intestines compared to men, believe it or not but commonly also due to pelvic floor muscle damage many mothers sustain during childbirth. Here is an interesting association which doesn't imply causation but scary. People who suffer from constipation are 400% more likely to develop Parkinson's disease later in life according to population studies. Now. You may ask how common is constipation? Officially, 80 million people in USA suffer from constipation. Did you know that constipation was such a big epidemic? But that's not all. Based on my experience, the actual number of adults and children suffering from constipation is likely even higher. When asked, Many patients often deny having constipation when asked directly, even though their bodies frequently show consequences and complications of decades of constipation. Like number one, diverticulosis, which is a herniation or pouching of the colon wall. Number two, hemorrhoids which are bothersome swollen veins in the rectum and anus. Number three, anal fissures, very painful tears in the walls of the anus. Number four, hiatal hernia, where a part of your stomach pushes up through the diaphragm and enters in the chest cavity from abdominal cavity. Number five, acid reflux and varicose veins swollen and twisted veins usually in the legs and so many other complications. But to clarify if patient truly have constipation, now I ask them a decisive question which most often can deliver the answer. We will discuss that in my next video along with our first holistic tip to correct constipation in our series of 20 tips. Are you ready for that? So see you in the next one.